Hi, I'm John Thorpe, and you all know my story about shattering my leg back in 1986. Well, I was also one of the first to ever treat horses using this technology. Well, then fast forward to 2012. A trainer's son, Tyler Seren, he heard that I had the newest of the technology and asked me if I would train him. Doug O'Neill had purchased a young horse, a two-year-old, for $35,000. It had a problem. It had chronic inflammation in its ankles. But this little horse had blazing speed and a big heart. He'd run well one day, be sore the next. Tyler came to me and he said, John, we've got this two-year-old that's never won a race. Stephanie and I had the chance to work with All Have Another for the last two months using John Thorpe certified machines and his protocols. And he showed how much he enjoyed the machine as he came out and he won his first race at 43 to 1. I'll have another opening up to lead by three. And as I'll have another coming on to win it easy. Four weeks from now, the Kentucky Derby will be run at Churchill Downs. But today, we're just minutes from the start of the Santa Anita Derby. A race filled with compelling storyline. And I'll have another is out to prove that his 43 to 1 upset victory in his last start was no fluke. Another coming on, Jamie down the center. I'll have another creative score. On the inside, blue skies and rainbows, a three way thriller. I'll have another creative score. I'll have another zinc front creative score. They hit it together. I'll have another. And Mario Gutierrez has won the Santa Anita Derby. Creative that qualified us for the Kentucky Derby. There are many races. Few become American traditions. But there's only one. Kentucky Derby. They're off in the Kentucky Derby! Now there's never been a horse that's broken from the 19th slot. That's 19 spots off the rail to win the Kentucky Derby. Now this time we were 15 to 1. Again, I love another Pollard Bodie Meister. Dullahan on the far outside. Here's the wire. I'll have another. That's one the Kentucky Derby. I'll have another. On to the Preakness. They're off in the Preakness. It's Bodie Meister. And I'll have another in a dramatic Preakness. Can I have another get there? Here he comes. Here's the wire. I'll have another get I'll have another coming from behind and win the second of the Triple Crown, the Preakness. Well, the Japanese contacted Doug O'Neill. They offered him $10 million for I'll have another to stud. That's quite a return on investment. 2012. Took a horse that had never won a race. We won the Kentucky Derby and the Preakness. Now we fast forward after the 2012 victory to let's bring it up to 2017. Jeffrey Mullins came to me in September of 2017 and he said, could you train me with the electro -aquascope? A horse chiropractor friend of ours, Rio King, said that you're doing miracles with racehorses. He had two horses in particular. One was just a two-year-old. The other one was an old veteran, a six-year-old, that had run on the turf in Europe, but was unknown here. But Jeffrey started treating the two-year-old by the name of River Boyne, a little Irish-bred horse that they found in France, and the six-year-old. It's in the post. On December 28th, the little two-year-old, River Boyne, won the opener at Santa Anita Racetrack. Jeffrey said, you better be here. January 6th, we're running. It's in the post. So it's the San Gabriel Stakes for 200000 It's in the post. One, the San Gabriel. I was there along with Rio King and Larry Thumper Jones in the winner circle. The Equiscope team all there as it's in the post. Won the San Gabriel. Then on February 3rd, 
It's in the post, did it again. And wins the San Marcos. Then March 17th, St. Patty's Day, with a crowd rooting for the little Irish horse in River Boyne, wins the Pasadena Stakes. Then March 24th, it's in the post, wins again for the San Luis Rey. Then on May 26th, he does it again. Captures the Charles Whittingham. Now this horse has won over a million dollars. A little unknown six-year-old is now in the million dollar category with some of the biggest names in racehorse history. He's won a million dollars. And June 16th was pretty special for me because not only was I in the winner's circle with River Boyne, as anticipated, to win the Rainbow Stakes, but another horse that Jeffrey Mullins Jr. had been treating, perfect wager. And he turned out to be the perfect wager that day as he too won. So I wasn't in the winner's circle once, I was in the winner's circle twice on June 16th. Now it's time for Del Mar. Come and join us in the winner's circle where the surf meets the turf at Del Mar.